Hey everybody, welcome to the Traveling Blossom Tarot. Welcome back if you're returning, where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards. My name is Dream Lynn. I'm going to give you guys a couple minutes to get in here. Oh, guys, it's snowing in Alaska, which is actually good because that means it's warming up, but we're about to get another dip. All right, so before I dive into the tarot, I'm just going to, um, look at my little handy witches date book if you guys i forgot to mention the name of this by the way this is the uh llewellyn's witches date book it's for 2024 and it's just packed full of everything you need for the year so hey lydia hey girl welcome how you doing Ugh. you weren't expecting a soulmate <laughs> i saw I saw your response. I wasn't expecting a soulmate, but okay. That sounds good, right? How are you doing? This is, guys, this is going to be a fantastic week. It's going to be really easy, easy breezy. You can think like, a, you know, easy breezy cover girl. <laughs> it's going to be a really nice, easy week, I think. The energy is really good for just getting things done, you know, in the workspace, all of that. But it's also good for romance this week. So really, really great week. Hey, Jeanette, welcome. Hey, good. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're doing good, Lydia. I'm glad you're doing good. Hey, Jeanette. Hey, girlfriend. Um, so yeah, so before I dive into the tarot, guys, I just want to go over. I was just talking about, I forgot to mention the name of this book, but um, this week is going to be a great week for just teamwork and just uh, your work in general and also romance. Like, you know, it's a week for getting the work done during the week and then having some fun on the weekend and, and letting love fly. Um, gr lots of great energy. We talked about this um, last week. It's part of last week is uh, Mars Square and Uranus today, creating a very electrifying day for innovations and resourcefulness. So this is a great day for tidying up, structuring, organizing, doing all those things that, you know, most of us don't like to do. <laughs> but it's a great day to get those things done. Um, tomorrow, well, throughout the week, these are just energies, kind of just a synapse of throughout the week. Uh, we have Libra or the moon entering Libra tomorrow, which is going to bring about balance and harmony in our relationships with ourselves and with others. Um, this is a great time for us to be focusing on those around us <clears throat> because in those focuses with those around us, it could lead us and them to great opportunities this week. It's very, this is a, um, opportunistic week. It's really, really good energy. Uh, Wednesday, some of us could be feeling like we're a little bit less important than everyone else. That's not a really great energy. Try to shift your mind if you catch yourself going into that energy where you're feeling like you're you're lesser than someone else. Shift that perception because you are just as worthy and just as amazing as anybody else on the planet. Okay, so try to try not to get in that mindset. It's going to be a great day for teamwork. Um, and if you need help. If you find yourself needing help, don't be afraid to ask. It's going to be a great, great time for you to ask, to reach out, to be vulnerable and admit, hey, I'm, I'm having trouble. I'm just not, you know, able to do this by myself. Can you help me? Everyone needs help at some point in their lives, sometimes more than, more than once. Guilty. <laughs> So, so it's a great day for that. And then, uh, Thursday is going to be a really good day for, um, creativity and writing artistic endeavors, you know, anything like that. So if you feel the need to write, um, it's going to be a great day to do that, uh, to share those kinds of things. A creative day is what it is. Um, Friday, Friday could have us, um, kind of the same energy as today. If you believe in Harry Potter the wizard. Of course. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. Um, it's okay. I mean, I watch the shows, but I don't know all the details. I'm not that big, but let's get back to this. So Friday, Friday could have us wanting to focus on our own dreams, our own goals. It's a great day for planning. It's going to be a great day for getting things done. This energy, these are like subtle energies, but they could be life altering. They could be, this could be a very life altering week for a lot of us. Um, Saturday, 
the weekend could bring love, guys. Um, the cosmos are wanting to create some romance. So the weekend could bring love, possible new love, or we could find ourselves um, being able to commit to things, uh, being able to commit to something that's important to us, you know, um, finding it easier to commit. Uh, then Sunday, Sunday, the, uh, well, Sunday, you might just be wanting to do something new. You might be wanting to do something out of your, out of your norm, do something new, something, um, different. And that could actually lead or could reveal something amazing for you. Hey, Kristen, welcome. Hey, girl. Hey. What you believe in? Dude, dude, yeah, I, I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm so sorry. I just don't, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I watched the show. I've seen it, but no, I'm not big on that. I'm, I'm a big believer in the um, planets. I'm a big believer in the astros. I'm a big believer that we're energy. I am a big believer that um, the stars, you know, guide us and help us. So that's, that's me, but. That's me. Where am I from? I'm from Alaska. Uh, oh, yes. Ring on the weekend. I know, right, Lilani? I'm so ready for that. I'm so ready, too. All right. We're going to dive into the tarot, guys, and see what the cards have to say. Thank you so much, spirit guides and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones, overall collective energy, overarching energy, overarching energy. No. Oh. I'm ready, too. Kristen, thank you so much for the stars the other day. Thank you. I really appreciate that. You're Astro Bessie. Girl, I'm learning. You know, I'm a I'm an uh I've always said I'm not an astrologer, I'm an enthusiast, um, but I'm actually a student. So I'm learning. I have been taking classes, more and more classes, and I have finally found my own apps and stuff that are helping me to learn how to read all this stuff myself <laughs> so it's it's quite interesting i'm loving it ah all right here we go overarching energy please chopped wood number 42 reduces to a six energy of the lovers chopped wood you know cleaning out um ushering out the old cleaning up the space perfect card for the energy today we were talking about tidying up cleaning up our spaces. This is the perfect card. Spirit is confirming this is a great time for us to be structuring, cleaning up, tidying, um, doing those, you know, mundane things that most of us don't like to do. But this is a great time to do it. We're cleaning up the space so we can usher in new energies, bring in something new, which is, you know, lining up for this week too. And with 42 reduced into the six, it could be love for a lot of us. It could be romance. It could be um, a contract of any sort. You could go into some sort of business contract because uh, 42, the six number, um, that's about contracts. So you could go into any kind of contract, a business contract. It could open up opportunities for us. And then we have number 47, which reduces to an 11. That's the soul path number. It's you working with spirit, you working with the divine, you coming in and saying, okay, yes, divine, let's co-create. Let's do this together. And then you going the distance, you um, allowing yourself, permitting yourself to keep going. Even when you hit those bumps in the road where you want to say, shit, I just want to stop. I don't want to go any further, right? When you want to go, for, you want to keep going. Spirit is saying, keep going. Don't give up. You're almost there. The flag is there. The, you know, the winner circle. Sorry, guys, I need a drink. You're almost to the finish line, so don't stop. Spirit is saying, don't stop. Keep going. Tidy things up. Um, work on those plans. Structure those plans. Come up with those plans, those ideas, those things, and follow through. Keep going. Don't give up on your dreams. This is a great year for following your dreams. And as the energy was saying, this week is a great uh, week for you to start following your dreams, to start chasing those things that you want and not giving up. So that's really great energy. I love that. I love that. Been decluttering all weekend. Me too, girl. Me too. 
I have been doing the same. It's so, it's so nuts. Um, the energy, it's like, I find myself, that's what I love about astrology because I find myself, you know, doing things like tidying up, cleaning up. And then I'll go look at the stars or something, you know, that, you know, and it will coincide with what I'm doing, which is just amazing. I love that. Hey, Lola. Welcome, girl. Good to see you. Good to see you. Oh, oh my God. Okay, guys, let's get into it. I'm going to pull the cards. We're doing that same moon spread that we did last week. I'm going to pull the cards first and we'll go into them. So the heart of the matter. How is spirit helping us, please? You guys know I don't pull cards. We got two on how spirit helping us. I block the release. Okay, action. Action forward. Hey, Sharon. Welcome, girl. Good to see you. All right, the lesson and the potential outcome. You know, guys, is it me or, or what is it about it? If you read tarot or you're into the stars or whatever, everyone thinks you should be a big Harry Potter fan. I'm just not a big fan. I watch the shows, but I'm not a big fan. Like, I don't know all the characters and, you know, and all that. I know, like, the main thing, but, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> hey, Michelle. All right, guys, let's dive into it. So right here at the heart of the matter, we have temperance, healing. This is healing. The energy is setting us up to work better in our relationships, work better with ourselves, work better with others. So it is a healing energy. It's bringing about balance. It says the drum. Calm balance is the key to making good decisions and finding the best solutions. This is Sagittarian energy. This is um, faithfulness. This is spirit is telling us to remain faithful, to remain um optimistic about our dreams to continue to believe to have that faith because whatever we're seeking whatever is um we're coming or wanting it's coming this is a healing energy too very therapeutic i love it being right here at the heart of the matter it's it tells me that all of us as a collective we are all focused on healing ourselves and healing and through that healing ourselves we heal others because when we start to heal ourselves it ripples down and trickles down into the lives of those around us. So I really love having this temperance energy right here at the center, um, asking us to remain faithful, continue to work on ourselves, continue to allow those healing energies to come in, to work with one another, to um, think of one another, you know, um, others, uh, To see the differences in one another, to see to see the uniqueness and to um, appreciate the uniqueness that we each have, right? To see each other as we truly are and to allow ourselves to be in our higher selves and to be accepted. So it's a, it's a really beautiful energy um, about acceptance and healing, not only yourself, but healing others. I really like this energy. Gosh. There is a nervousness. I don't know what the hell happened, but there is a nervousness in this energy right now. It's driving me crazy. So I don't know um, what's going on out there, but it's weird. All right, guys, let's see. Let's clarify this a little bit, Spirit. Thank you. The temperance. What are you doing? <clears throat> oh. oh, my God. Guys, this is freaking amazing, guys. This is definitely spirit saying, okay, look, there's a balance coming. There's a balance coming between career, between life, between our relationships, all of that. We're birthing new ideas, new ways. We're coming into um, new ways of living. Maybe we're moving, doing those things. We're coming into new ways of um interacting and engaging in our relationships but i just want you guys to look at this this is fucking amazing sorry pardon my french <laughs> this is amazing spirit is stepping in turning the wheel working with us clarifying that they're working with us there's the divine the wheel wheel of fortune so 
spirit once again saying, you know, I'm working with you. I'm right there with you. We're changing. This is a change. This is a shift for the better. It's lining us up for abundant opportunities, abundance and longevity, long-term goals coming to fruition. This is about our resources. This is a very resourceful king. He knows, you know, his money is in check. His emotions are in check. His mind is in check. He's very, very resourceful. So this is resourceful, abundant energy coming in. And then we have two kings, guys. We have two. We have the king of cups. Now this guy, he is emotionally sound. He is lovable. He is nurturing. He's caring. He's diplomatic, empathetic, sympathetic, very, very beautiful energy. Definitely ushering in love. Love and career opportunities are available to us now. All we have to do is step into our Empress energy and go for it. The Empress, she can take nothing and turn it into something. And so can you. So step into your Empress power and develop the life that you want. You have the power. That is what Spirit is telling you. Remember, you are the co-creator. You're creating with Spirit. So anything you don't like about your life, you have the power to change. You have the power to change. And that's what the Empress does. She goes in and she says, hey, you know what? Nope. This isn't working for me. This isn't working for me. No, I'm going to change this to what I want. I'm going to change this to how I see it. I can have anything I want. If I can dream it, I can build it. If I can build it, I can have it, right? That's the Empress. Beautiful energy. Now, some of you guys with the Empress coming out and with that King of um, King of Hearts, why am I saying King of Hearts? Uh, with that King of Cups, some of you may even find out that you are pregnant. You, you, there could be a birth. So that's just for a small few because I really don't feel that energy that strong. But just as I was laying the card down there, I'm hearing birth. So some of you could find out that you're pregnant. That energy is there. This is a beautiful energy to have right here at the heart of the matter. Spirit saying balance is coming in our careers, in our love lives, in our, in our lives, period, right? Just all the way around, Spirit is really working with us to change our lives and to help us, help us evolve, to level up. Okay, look at this. <laughs> My God, this is amazing. I am so loving this, guys. Okay, so how is Spirit helping us? We have the hanged man with the Knight of Pentacles. So bringing in some solid offer of security, um, helping us out. There's a breakthrough happening. Look at this. There's a breakthrough here. Change through breaking old patterns, thinking things carefully, changing our perspective, seeing um, spirit is helping us to change our perspective and see our worth and see that we are abundantly blessed, that we have what we need. We have what it takes to um, set us up for the lives that we want. The orange tree, it says, earth, find your loyal supporter, one with determination, patience, and common sense. Now, the Knight of Pentacles, this is the slowest, slowest moving night in the tarot, okay? So this isn't something that's going to happen overnight. It's going to take time, and it's going to take you working with your spirit team to bring it in. You're working, you're building a relationship, you're strengthening that relationship and working with your spirit team to bring that in. So it's going to be um, over time, you're going to start seeing these changes start to happen. Change your perspective and start watching, start looking for those changes, start looking for the positivities, the blessings, start counting your blessings. You, you heard that old saying when you were in um, Bible school, you know, count your blessings, count your blessings. Well, when you count your blessings, they really, really add up. They add up, and when you, they start to add up, it helps to change your perspective. It helps to see, because then you see things, and you see that it's not as gloom and doom as, you know, you may have thought. The time is now best things. Exactly. Yes, they do. They most certainly do. Look, the burden is over. The hard work is over. The burden no longer serves us. It's time to let it go. You got the 10 of wands. This is it. This is spirit saying there's no more burden to be had. There's a brand new beginning here, a brand new opportunity for some of you. It's in career. For some of you, it's in love. For some of you, it's just in your relationship with yourself. 
right? That can, I mean, because it all starts with you guys. It all starts with us. It all starts within. You can't do nothing if you're not, you know, working on yourself within. So it all starts there. But this is brand new opportunities coming. Passionate opportunities too. Things that, you know, are going to bring you passion and fire. These are creative opportunities that could bring about stability, <clears throat> abundance, prosperity, money. This is finances. This is finances too. So it could, your finances could start to improve. Um, <clears throat> if you guys haven't checked her out, I watch uh, Stars with Stassi and she is fabulous. She's always talking about, you know, um, telling yourself you're a money magnet. Exactly. Do those things. I'm a magnet for money. I am successful. I have a successful relationship. I have, you know, a successful career. Start telling your, yourself those things because it's going to shift your perception. And when your perception, the perception shifts, <laughs> your life will improve you'll see, you will truly see that it's not so difficult. Things don't have to be so doom and gloom, so terrible all the time, right? Excuse me. I am like so thirsty today. Mm. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> all right. The block. We have the devil. Addictions, toxic behaviors, all of those things coming in. Those are the blocks. These are um, strongholds. They, these are things that are holding on tightly. These are the things that possibly you tell yourself, I'm not good enough. I don't deserve this. I'm not pretty enough. I'm not, you know, this or, or that. Uh, I don't have the talent. I don't have the skills. I don't have the know-how, whatever that may be. <clears throat> this is also, if you are in a partnership, this could be or trying to pull away from a partnership or something. This could be toxic partnerships with the devil coming in there. So if you're looking for something more healthy, it could be about um, the toxic behaviors within the union that are holding you back. It says the hippie, be true to yourself, free your mind, get out of unclear or trapped situations. This is divine sport, uh, support, it says. Capricorn energy could be dealing with a Capricorn. <clears throat> excuse me, or have strong Capricorn in your chart. There's a, um, so far there is quite a bit of, um, earth energy here, quite a bit of earth energy here so far. We'll see what, what happens or how it progresses. Can we clarify the devil, please clarify the devil. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like this is those thoughts, those things that we're telling ourselves. This is us worrying about, um, things that, you know, maybe aren't really even worth worrying about. It's about us creating, <clears throat> excuse me, creating unnecessary fears, unnecessary concerns. This is um, keeping you up, you're up all night. I feel like it is uh, those toxic thoughts, very toxic thoughts, talking down onto, your, um, you know, onto yourself, um, self-depreciating thoughts. I'm not good enough. Those are the things that are keeping us up. This is the block. This is what we have to let go of. We have to let go of those fears, those anxieties, and permit ourselves to have the life that we want. Remember, guys, I said that last week. Sometimes it's as little, it's as simple as permitting yourself. Just saying, you know what? I can do this. I'm going to allow myself to think of myself in better ways. I'm going to allow myself to engage with my relationships in different ways. I'm going to permit myself to believe in my abilities to uh, build the business, the life, the practice, whatever it is that I want. I'm going to allow myself to do it. That is the block, my dears. <clears throat> Excuse me. The release. This is actually nice. The release is coming into yourself. We have Leo energy, the strength card. This is um, about stepping into your power, stepping into your strength and leading with kindness too. being kinder to yourself, being kind to others as well. But there is a kindness here. This is about the self is assault, strength and karmic power, balance and self-control, confidence of equilibrium between spirit and matter, life and sin. <clears throat> Excuse me. So 
the uh the release is to allow yourself to believe in yourself to um tap into your strengths to tap into your powers to believe that you can do it to balance yourself to gain control over your thoughts control over your emotions control over um yourself <laughs> this is amazing it's like steps I feel steps here. We have um, the nine, we have uh, the hermit, which is number nine in the tarot. We have the hermit clarifying the strength. So eight and nine, I feel steps here and spirit saying there are steps here. It takes time. This doesn't happen overnight, guys. It takes work. It takes you getting up every day and saying, hey, I'm going to believe in myself today. I'm going to permit myself to be a little bit kinder to myself today. I'm going to um, believe that my relationships are, you know, good and, and I'm going to change my perception. I'm going to allow myself to do this. This hermit, this is introspection. This is you going in and doing the work. You going in and tapping into your light, tapping into your power, tapping into your strength. So spirit is saying the way the, the release here is for you to allow yourself to step into your power and to step into yourself and to do that introspection and to do that shift and know that you have the power to do it. You can change your perception, which can change your life. So follow your path, follow, follow your light, follow your guidance, listen to your team. Remember last week and the last couple of weeks, spirit's been talking about that. You know, listen more and um, talk less. So listen to your team, listen to your guides. They have great advice for you and follow that advice. Follow that first aha, that first nudge, that first inkling, whatever it is, follow that. That's the path that's, um, that is the right path. It's least resistive, right? The first inkling. So follow that. Okay. The way forward guys is <laughs> the magician. This is you tapping into your power and manifesting and really believing in your ability to do so. You can manifest the life that you want. Alchemy, where ideas and action come together. Communication with awareness creates new ideas and actions. Confidence, transformation from human to superhuman. This is Mercury energy. So I don't know where Mercury is in your charts, but you guys know Mercury has been playing a big, big role, um, especially from last year into this year. And Mercury is getting ready. What is it? Yes, later this week, Sunday, Mercury is going to enter Aquarius. And later it's going to, I believe, trine. Is it trining or swearing? No, conjuncting. Later, Mercury on Monday, next Monday, Mercury is going to conjunct Pluto. And this is, um, this, this is surprising news. This could bring about change. So allow yourself to step into the magician that you are. Step into your power. Start, um, building your manifestations, you know, lay in the footwork. Remember, do those steps. Um, writing down the ideas that you have. Speak it, write it, say it see it, right? Speak it into existence, write it into existence, believe it into existence, put your energy and your power into it. That's the way forward. This is also communication with Mercury. So the way forward too, with that Mercury there is to communicate. It's all about communicating your ideas, communicating your needs, your wants, your desires. Remember spirit was saying, if you need help, speak up. This could be spirit saying, maybe you need a little help with the manifestations that you're trying to obtain. Maybe you need some support from somebody, maybe a close friend or something like that could, you know, help you out in manifesting your desires. Maybe you need that little bit of support. We have justice balance coming in to harmonize that. So balance and harmony. So this, this shift, this change, um, this is going the man, the things that you are bringing into your life. They're going to bring you balance and harmony, fairness, calm, peace. That's, you know, it's a, it's a beautiful energy. Um, with this, you know, I want to get a little more. Can I get a little more on that, Justice, please? Balance and harmony. I feel, remember, uh, I think it was 
Yeah, I think it was um, a couple weeks ago, there were legalities. I do feel those legalities for some of you. So if you are in any kind of legal matters or something, this could be an indication that it's about to end that and that you could be on um, a very good end of it. I had the five, the five of cups. <clears throat> I feel like this is um, spirit saying that you are manifesting your dreams from your pain, from past pains. You're utilizing your pain as that stepping stone to, you know, move you forward. Um, you're not, I don't get a negative energy is what I'm saying. The five of cups, it's usually about thinking about the past and not seeing your, uh, you know, you're not seeing your blessings. You're not seeing, right? You've got three spilled cups. You're focused on those cups. You're not seeing the two over here. But the energy that I'm picking up here is that you're actually using this power, this past pains, this emotional stuff, this emotional um, suffering or whatever it is from your past. You are using that to manifest your future and to bring about balance and harmony. It's actually helping you. Your past struggles, your past um, hurts, those are actually setting you up and bringing you into balance and helping you with your manifestations um, right now and what you're building in your life right now. Okay, so the lesson, guys, judgment. Judgment, your call. In the moment of truth, call upon the forces of spirit and mind to make the correct decision. This is all about you stepping into the call, hearing the call, allowing yourself. Remember, you're permitting yourself to be everything you know you are. This is you hearing the call. The lesson here is you listening to the call, listening to your call, listening to your higher self, following that guidance. This is Pluto energy too. So guys, I would definitely check my chart and see what um, Pluto's in Aquarius. It just moved into it. But what is what it, kind of aspects is Pluto making um, in your chart? So what we have clarifying this is communications. So the, the call, this could just be about you stepping into your voice, stepping into your power and using your voice to um, build others and build yourself. To build some sort of, there could be some sort of business or practice here that you are manifesting. Um, if it's about love or whatever it is, this is about you hearing the call, you hearing the communication, your understanding. This is um, communication coming in. It could be online energy, online communication, but this is you actually understanding. This is you hearing what someone else is saying. You're learning. You're also hearing your team, hearing your guides, and hearing yourself. You're listening. You are finally listening to yourself. You're transforming and finally listening to yourself and um, setting yourself up for just a beautiful life. I really like this, guys. Transformation. Absolutely. Transformation. We are all transforming. This energy is amazing. I love it. Okay. Girl, as you say transformation, kid you not. Guys, this is how spirit works. Kid you not. As you say transformation, and we're talking about it, the, the outcome the potential outcome is the death card, which is all about transformation. It's about things ending and new beginnings happening. This is, uh, or starting. So you got the mermaid, embrace changes, your life depends on it. So spirit is saying, allow yourself these changes, allow these transformations to come through. Don't work against them anymore. I, you know, don't work against yourself. Don't work against the divine flow with the energy, work with the energy, allow it to happen. It's for your good. It's setting you up for a better life, for a greater life. This is really, no, you cannot make this stuff up. I love it, Lalani. Yes, you cannot make it up. This is actually setting us up for an amazing life. So allow these transformations to take place, guys. Let's clarify this death now that's scorpio energy so some of you could have strong scorpio placements or be dealing with the scorpio uh yeah okay so we got the seven of wands coming out now the seven of wands is a lot of things coming at us right so this death and transformation this could bring about a lot of things coming at us a lot of opportunities this could be setting us up for a lot of opportunities Usually this is something like a energy of uh, 
defending yourself, right? Defending yourself, which you will have to do. You will have to protect your energy. You always want to protect your energy. But what I feel here is that um, Spirit is saying this is transforming and all kinds of opportunities are going to start coming at you. You're not even going to know which way you want to go, right? You're not even going to know which path you want to choose first. A lot of stuff coming at, um, at you. I'm going to see what else on this Seven of Wands, please. Can we clarify the Seven of Wands a little bit more, please? I don't feel a defensive energy with that Seven of Wands, guys. I really don't. Yeah, it's bringing in opportunities. Uh, there is a golden opportunity here for us, guys. There is going to be a lot of opportunities coming towards you as you allow yourself to go through these transformations. There's going to be a lot of opportunities coming towards you. You might be a little confused because sevens, you think of seven of cups, lots of choices, uh, lots of decisions. So you might be a little bit confused about which opportunity to take, but there is a golden opportunity here for us. There is a beautiful, brand new, golden, passionate, creative, abundant opportunity that spirit is coming and saying, hey, make your choice, whichever one you want. It's like pick a door, one through seven, right? Pick a door. Whichever door you go through, it's going to be okay. And oh my God, look at what's on the bottom. The magician. There's magic through any door you choose. So pick the door of opportunity for whichever one you want. There will be magic. You have all the tools. You guys you have all the tools you need to build this life that you want. It, you really do. It, it does. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready too, girl. I'm ready. All right. Let's get some mindful messages. Get a couple charms and then I will open up the floor. You guys know how this works. I have two piles. So uh, let me know which pile you want. Amethyst or agate if you have a question let me know if i miss your question i'm sorry i you know the comments they go by so fast so if i miss you i'm sorry but i'm just gonna um start going into whoever is there so go ahead and drop those energies guys let's see what should we be mindful of this week spirit what should we be mindful of this week this week Ooh. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I've seen this first card. I love it. Guys, the weekend is for romance. Okay. So listen, romance is not going to come knocking on your door. There is an opportune door for you to enter, but you're going to have to, you know, leave the house and you're going to have to go out there. You're going to have to put yourself there. Look at this. Dance it out. We got dance it out. So get out there. I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel the stress or heaviness begins to ease out of my body. So if you find yourself feeling, you know, a little pinned up or anything, get up, get moving, dance, dance it out, maybe go dance. And I feel like this might be a sign for some of us to, you know, put on our heels and uh, get out there and go dancing. Turn that music up. The better it gets. This is beautiful. Thank you, Spirit. These are mindful messages, guys. So this is what spirit wants you to be mindful of this week. Your energy, you know, it could get a little bit built up in your body. So move your body, you know, be good to your, your temple, all of that. Drink your fluids. We were talking about that before. Nurturing your body, what you feed yourself, right? But the better it gets. When things happen that cause me to feel good, I know there are much more good feeling things coming my way. The better it gets and I keep rising up. Spirit confirming that things are only going to get better. It's only going to get better. This is beautiful energy. I love this. Hey, Jerry. Welcome. Hello. All right. Let's see what charms we get. Ah, nope. 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 Ah. There's a little offness in the energy here. Okay, there we go. Oh my God, we got a ton, guys. We got a freaking ton. Okay. 
Oh, guess what? I finally found out what this is. This is a uh, Damascus. I think that's how you say it. It's a Damascus knife. Chefs use this knife. So it's double edged, you know, it's feathery though. So I always get the feeling that there could be messages coming with this knife, but say, you know, I feel like there could be messages. I feel like this is an indication of that communication spirits talking about, but it's the Damascus. So this could be about, um, you know, feeding your body, feeding yourself, you know, better food, right? Nutrients. Because this is about cooking. This knife is used by chefs. So I figure this could be about uh, what you're feeding yourself. What nutrients. Make sure you're hydrated. Make sure you, you know, you're getting your fruits and vegetables and all that. Excuse me again. I am so thirsty today. Guys, we got the rose. We got the rose. I feel like this is an indication that um, things are blooming. There is new blooms in the garden. Spring is coming. So this could be about spring actually, but I feel this is about new beginnings and new buds, new blossoms. This is like, oh, sorry about my signal guy. We, we are under a snowstorm actually. Um, but I feel like spirit is saying new opportunities, new things are coming, new blossoms, new growth, sunshine and grounding. Absolutely. We got the robin, so definitely messages. Spirit could be sending you guys messages this week. It could be coming from your, um, like, passed on loved ones, ancestors. So listen to your ancestors. Listen to those passed on loved ones, those messages that you might receive because we have the robin coming in. The robin, actually, I, I get a feeling, too, with this robin of that newness. Springtime, I'm really feeling spring in these first two, like, um, like, airy season, you know, so this could be something about airy season. I'm not quite sure, but I'm really, really feeling spring with the rose and the robin. New beginnings, new growth. Oh God. Yes. And I feel like spirit is saying with these charms um, about our new possibilities, our new growth, our new beginnings, because look what else we have. We have the treble clef and the treble clef, it indicates a new beginning, a new start, right? There's something new here. This is also music. So spirit, once again, reiterating to, you know, dance, get up, move your body, move your body and let the music move you. Um, God, I'm hearing that. It's CC in the music factory. CC in the music factory, I think is the one that sings it. Um, what is it? It's something about move your body. Gosh, I'm going to have to look up that song, guys. I, it's not coming to me. But, guys, how else could we, I mean, how many times could Spirit say, get ready, new beginnings are possible. All you have to do is step into it. I feel like this is the seven opportunities, like the choices, the decisions, whichever door you go through, it's going to be abundant. We have the butterfly. Butterflies signify new beginnings. They're also communicators. They're air creatures. So they bring messages. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, guys. Definitely pay attention to those <laughs> signs and synchronicities. And look, the door of opportunity is open and, and you have the key. Right there. You are the key. Some of you could be receiving keys out of the blue, out of nowhere. This happened to me a couple of years ago. My angels, I feel strong ancestor um, and, and like guides here. My angels started dropping me keys. So I feel like some of you could start finding keys in really strange places. Like I found one, a little tiny one. It's actually in my charm bowl. It's about like this big. I found it in a cupboard in a new house that I had moved into. So it was crazy. So you never know where you might find it, but the doors are opening and you are the key. You have the key. Oh, come on. Sorry about the storm, guys. Um, so we have the seashell. This is about messages as well. This is about listening to those emotional messages. I feel like this is emotional messages from within. This is listening to your intuitive side listening to the messages that your body is telling you and things that, you know, your energy is telling you about what needs to make a shift in your body or what you need to do. Just really tune into yourself and listen to your intuition. Listen to um, your body. 
Last but not least, for those of you that are looking for love, Lydia, where you at? Girl, you were saying you weren't planning on a soulmate. Well, guess what? Spirit is saying soulmates are coming. Soulmates are coming. We have the seahorse. Seahorses, they mate for life. They're soulmates. They mate for life. They swim in pairs. They're unions. They are groups. So balance, harmony coming in, but soulmates definitely coming in. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities, guys. There, there's something there and doors are opening. This is a beautiful message. I love this. All right. All right, guys. We're going to open up the floor. Um, and if you haven't been here, welcome. Welcome anyone that's new. There's, um, I do this a little bit differently. So I have two piles of tea leaves. And uh, there's pile one is under the amethyst card. And pile two is agate and you pick a pile and if you have a question i will certainly ask the question for you if i miss your question i'm sorry it's hard to keep up on all the comments and stuff um sometimes but that's how it works so just let me know pile one pile two if you have a question we'll see if we can get you an answer okay oh Okay, I'm going to leave the overarching energies out here, guys. Remember those overarching energies, chopped wood and going the distance. This is about cleaning up our spaces and going the distance. So I'm going to leave those out there today. All right. Hello, Tiona. Welcome. Money or romance likely. Okay. All right, Sharon, we'll start with you. I see you right there. Uh, money or romance and you want pile one. Okay. All right. Spirit, is there any money or romance coming for Sharon? Highest energies for Sharon. Money or romance? Hmm. Money or romance for Sharon? Hold on a minute, Sharon. My cards need a, a quick clean. You're welcome, guys. You're very welcome. I need to start. I need to light an incense here and, uh, these cards need a quick smoke. <laughs> you know it's bad when your cards are smoking. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Ah. Mm. Bring that up. All right, where'd you go? All right. They're really yucky um, today, Karen, um, Sharon. They were really yucky, so I needed to do that real quickly. Okay. All right. Then it was career or money, right? No, romance or career. What's your question? Yeah, money or romance, likely. Money or romance for Sharon Spirit. The money or romance coming for Sharon. Money or romance coming for Sharon. Sharon, I'm hearing romance, so, I mean, there could be romance on the horizon for you. It could spark off rather quickly. That's what I'm hearing. Um, take it or leave it. But I feel like it, if it is happening, it could spark off really, really quickly. Um, could be very magnetic. Could be very magnetic. Uh, powerful. Could be... Um, it, it, I, magnetic, I also get like push-pull, so um, I don't know. You could be dealing with a twin or something. My goodness, Sharon. Sharon. Girl. Honey, I think from what I'm seeing just as a glance, what I'm seeing um, is both. You could be, you could have um, money or romance coming for you. Both. And it could spark really quickly. It could take off really quickly. Let's see, two, four, six, eight. You have eight cards. So this is the energy of the self. This is the energy of Leo, the strength card, your power. The first card that you have is basket, recognition and reward for merit. So I would definitely say that your uh, money could start to blossom for you. This basket is very full of food. It's very abundant. So I would definitely say that there is prosperity coming for you. Uh, there could be some kind of recognition too. Someone could uh, come knocking on your door. 
<laughs> someone could come knocking on your door literally i mean i don't know if you could receive this but possibly with even a fruit basket i am literally hearing a fruit basket someone could knock on your door with a fruit basket and i know that is like way off the wall but it's coming through uh the door of opportunities opportunities are waiting for you I do feel abundance coming certainly for you and I and I feel like it could be in uh, matters of love and money career if it's career or money that you're after but look at this you have the carrot coming in opportunity or windfall opportunity or windfall so everything so far lining up for money let's see what else we have here we have the fan, romance, celebration, or party. So put yourself out there. Remember, Sharon, the energies are lining up this week. They are supporting you in career, money, finances, love. The energies are there. Put yourself out there. This weekend especially is a great time to put on those dancing shoes and get out there and look for love. It may find you. It may find you. Romance, go to a party possibly a celebration maybe you get an, an invitation maybe that's what the knock on the door is you get an invitation to go to a party or something and you have older man dealings or a relationship with an older man so this could be someone that's a little bit older than you that comes knocking on your door or you may already have this person um, in your presence You got Bo, you are highly thought of. So I really feel like spirit is saying, yes, someone is thinking of you. This, the person that's coming in for you, actually sharing what I'm getting is this person may have already been in your life. Uh, this could be someone coming back. And sometimes that's not a bad thing. So before everyone goes, N -n 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 -n, please hear me out. People can change, right? Who are we to sit here and say that someone can't change? People can change. We change all the time. We evolve all the time. And if somebody wants to change, if someone wants to improve their life or wants to be better, they can. So there could be someone that comes back around, Sharon, that might have had some um, sorrow attached to them before. They may have actually caused, uh, you guys may have had some broken hearts or pain together before. You know, possibly even in another life I'm hearing, uh, it could have been a past life love or something like that. But I feel like it's someone very close to you that could be coming back. You've got the willow tree. It says family sorrow. But what the energy that I get is like you had a connective energy with someone possibly before. And you guys may have split and this person could come back around and they have, they have changed. And this person actually may be a part of what adds to your money to your blessings to your abundance it's good fortune you got the beetle so answer your question i would say yes to money and romance coming for you now um spirit is taking me back to april so possibly sometime between now and april or it could be sometime um in april Okay. All right. You're welcome, dear. You're welcome. All right. Where are we at? Let's see. Let me see here. Michelle, pile one. Can you see love and happiness and abundance coming? Okay. Pile one for Michelle Harris. All right, guys. If I miss you, just keep putting it out there. It's hard to keep up with the comments. So please just keep putting them out there. No, Bubby. We still got 40 minutes. If you guys are new here, you don't know, that's Master. That's our mascot. He lets me know when time is up. He's about um, 40 minutes early. Why don't you get up there and lay down? Here, let's turn on some music for you. Yeah, get up there. Lay down. Sorry, guys. Ah, yeah. I don't know why I'm apologizing. He's a dog. That's what dogs do. But it pisses people off, so sorry. <laughs> okay. Happiness and abundance for Michelle. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels. This is for Michelle Harris. Happiness and abundance. What's coming for her? Happiness and abundance for Michelle. 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 
Michelle, I'm getting focus for you. So I feel like there's um, spirit is saying there's something you might need to focus on to focus your energy, possibly in your manifestations to focus your um, on what you want. What it being precise, being exact in what you want, right? Like if you're looking for love, what what does that look like? What does that love look like to you? What does what do, if love came and knocked on your door and presented itself? What would it look like, right? So getting really precise, like planning, writing those things down. Uh, I'm, you know, like I want a lover who is kind. I want someone who is successful or ambitious or, you know, creative, uh, spiritual, whatever it is to write those things down in what you're looking for. Okay. All right. So you've got... You've got June, you got the month of June, so something could happen around June and it could be divine guidance. We have uh, June is Gemini energy, so that's the energy of the lovers. That is a divine union. So it could be that a union is coming in June for you. And this feel it feels like it could be someone totally opposite of what you would normally go for, Michelle. Something that you would never see yourself going for, you're actually going to do. Because you've got total opposites. You've got the cat and the dog. So I feel like um, an, a relationship or love or, or a union, a divine union, actually could blossom around June. Um, and it is going to be the dogs are loyal, right? They're, they're loyal. So this is a, this relationship will be a dedicated relationship. You guys will be loyal to each other. Dogs, they're, um, they will stick with you for life. So this could be long term. Cats, you know, cats are nocturnal and cats are, um, cats are seen as an animal that often, you know, is kind of, um, what's the word? Mm, standoffish. You know, like they pull it away. I feel like this is spirit saying that you'll, this union, you guys will be able to um, remain yourselves and be able to pull away and have your time that you need to yourself without it being, you know, some sort of problem or something like that. Because sometimes that can be people, people will take, uh, you know, you pulling away to recharge or re-energize yourself as, you know, something personal. And I feel like spirit is saying that you're not going to have that situation. You're going to have a very balanced union where this person is going to understand and you're going to understand too. So I do feel like love is coming for you possibly in June. And I called you, did I call you Sharon? I meant Michelle. Michelle, uh, I do feel like love is coming for you in June. I'm so sorry I called you Sharon, Michelle. So sorry about that. But that is what I have for you, girl. Good luck. Let me know. I think it's going to be a very good relationship. You know, cats and dogs, they don't always get along, but uh, when they do, it's amazing. It's amazing when they do. You choose a pile. All right, Lola, me choose a pile. Well, we've been sticking with pile one, so let's go to pile two. Because pile two is all about contracts, all about love. Let's see what we get all about unions, balance and harmony, peace. I like it for Lola. Let's clean these up a little bit. Thank you. All right. Lola. Highest energy spirit for Lola. Lola, look at this. You ready? I just want you to see where this split. Okay. Marriage in the crib. Oh, I'm not even going to say anything, girl. I'm not even going to say anything. I know you're feeling it. <laughs> Highest energies for Lola, please. Highest energies for Lola. <laughs> Lola. Girl. Don't shut the door of opportunity. Don't scoff. Ew. Lola, honest to God, <laughs> I could do, because I could just feel you laughing and giggling over there. <laughs> Lola, honest to God, though, 
you know, marriage doesn't have to be about a marriage. It doesn't have to be about, you know, two people coming together and unionizing and, you know, putting things on paper. A marriage could be just a contract, a contract that you have with somebody. Maybe you, um, you know, go into some business partnership or something. It could be a contract with business partnership. So it doesn't have to be that. But what I really do, <laughs> I love you, Lola. <laughs> Someone's coming, girl. Look. Somebody's coming. They, they're going to um, present to you some sort of contract, whether it is, you know, in love or matters of money, matters of business, matters of the heart, whatever it may be. But you've got a man knocking on the door. <laughs> Dealing to a relationship with a man. Girl, now I showed you cards. You had the, you had the marriage card on the bottom and the crib. That's, that's your home. That's your home space. So love could be knocking on your door, seriously, and it could be knocking soon. So don't scoff. <laughs> Bobby, no. He, he wants to be on top of me when we're, the energy is exciting and happy and stuff. He loves it. He's got to be near. <laughs> Good luck, Lola. Good luck. All right. Coral green. Welcome, honey. Um, pile two, pretty please. All right. You're welcome. All right. Here we go. Thank you, spirit. This is for coral. Can you get down, please? You're like, dude, <laughs> you are still early and you went out for E4. Get down. Get down, dude. Get down. <laughs> Come on. Stop. I knew I should have put him in his um, kennel. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That's our mascot here at the Traveling Blossom Tarot. If you guys don't know, by the way, guys, my name is Dreama Lynn, and that's Master. We're travel companions. We're buddies. We're currently in Alaska. Never know where we might be next, but that's where we are now. So, hi, Kylie. Welcome. Oh, wow. Australia. Beautiful. Love that. Highest energies for coral, spirit. Highest energies for coral. Coral, please. Coral green. I love your name, by the way, coral. I love that. Coral green. Coral green. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, Coral, so you're new here, so you don't know the way that my cards operate if they're if they're quiet, like nothing shoots out or something. That's an indication that there's some communication that needs to happen or something needs to be done. Something needs to change. You need to make a move, something like that. Something did come out a little late in the rotation. And I feel like um, I might want to get, see if they just get one more. But what I'm getting for you is really, really good. Your ships are coming in, girl. Uh, money or property through an inheritance, winning or a windfall. So you could win like Powerball, lottery, anything like that. You get an inheritance, but abundance is coming in money specifically. More specifically money. I just want to see if there's anything else because nothing came out right away and it shot off last minute. So is there anything else for Coral? Anything else? Coral, follow, follow your hopes, follow your dreams, whatever you're going after. If you're going after something in particular right now, keep going forward. Go the distance. The overarching energy was about going the distance. And Spirit is showing me right here on this boat. If you look right here, there's a light and it's hanging out off the bow of the boat. And it's guiding the waters, right? It's, it's guiding the path for these guys. So I feel like Spirit is saying to tell you to keep going. Whatever you're going after, keep going. Don't give up. Your ships are coming in. Your dreams are going to come true. It's all leading you to great opportunities, beautiful opportunities. That's beautiful energy, um, Coral. Good luck, sweetheart. Let us know. Come back and let us know. We'd love to hear from you and let you know how it's doing. They are such beautiful energies. Absolutely. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. This energy is amazing. All right, guys. Who, who, where are we at? Hello. Will, will Zaz win many Grammy, Grammys this year? If so, will she win at least one award from the general field? You know, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, how do I say your, can I call you Pedro? I don't, I'm not sure how to say your first name. Is that Jao? 
Jao, Jao, Jao. Um, okay, I'm going to call you Pedro, and I don't know who um, Zaz is, so forgive me. I don't, I'm not into the big scene like that, but we'll ask. Um, let's see. Oh, call you John. Okay, John. Great. Thank you. All right, John, would you like pile one or pile two? Would you like me to ask from which pile would you like me to ask that from? Spirit, will Zaz win? Many Grammys this year, and if so, will she win at least one reward or one award <laughs> from the general field? General field. Okay, just let me know pile one or pile two, please. Or I'll just pick it. I've got pile one in my hand. We'll just go with that. Let's see. This is about Zaz. Will Zaz win many Grammys this year? And if so, will one? Oh, now you say number two. <laughs> <laughs> all right john <laughs> here we go all right spirit will zaz win many grammys this year and if so will she win at least one award from the general field okay okay so let's see how this goes the first thing i got was some clashing some um maybe a little bit of head butting difficulty is what it feels like some difficulty uh za 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 <laughs> okay thanks john <laughs> za <laughs> well za well, za za i don't even know okay spare and one from the general field okay mm -hmm. Does she win many awards if so, we from the general field. Okay. okay, John, so, oh, okay. Um, I thought that was only going to be one card, but we got five. So five indicates change, conflict, struggle. I was picking that up in the, in the pre-shuffle there that there might be some conflict there and just as the one card fell out i was getting one so i feel like um, maybe one she may win one it could be the general field i'm not quite sure let's see what this card is for us definitely there's going to be a struggle so this could be an indication that you know she, she might win one but it, it's going to be hard it's going to be a hard like a uh, hard feat i feel like um We've got the forest muddled, unclear thinking. Uh, this could be something in the communication, something, you know, um, I don't know when this award show is or whatever, but uh, Mercury, I think, is going to go retrograde. It's either, I think it's around April. I can't remember, March or April, something like that. But I feel like um, it could be uh things muddled or not clear possibly during that time april's been coming up so i don't know if that coincides with these award shows or whatever that you're talking about but i feel like um something could get lost in communication so she might win one she might win one but it's it's going to be difficult i feel like we've got birds flying news is on the way so there's the communication unclear and then we've got we've got her career coming in the desk is rather empty if you see it's rather um empty but is but there's growth you know there's a plant there so there's possibility i'm not saying that it's rather empty right now um we have the bull do not back down from opposition show strength and fortitude so she may have to like defend herself or something with something. There's something here about communication with this, this person. Um, she may have to defend herself or something like that. So something actually, hmm. there may be a battle like over, like, did she win the award? You know, was she supposed to win the award? Should she have won the w award or something like that? Some kind of, you know, hoopla, <laughs> hoopla about an award. But I feel like that um, ultimately she might get one. You got the well, and that's the final card, well. So she may get one award, but I feel like it's going to be difficult. It's not going to be um, an easy feat is what I'm getting. 
it's just not going to be easy. And there's something here in the communication. I feel like that um, there might be some hoopla or something over, you know, whether or not she should have won the award or was she, you know, or did she win enough awards or, or something like that. Some, something like that. Let's see. Um, what were you saying here? And she's the most nominated artist for the, okay. Artist for this year's Grammy. Okay. In case you don't know, there's a bias against black music in Grammy's history. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, last year they're divided the winners, especially the, in the general field. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I'm not familiar with all that category stuff and all that. And like I say, I don't really watch a lot of television or, or engage in a lot of celebrity stuff. Um, but I do sense that there's some kind of hoopla, like, you know, I, I keep saying hoopla, um, but some sort of, um, well, crap, right? Like some sort of crap behind in the communication. And like, there, there may be something saying that, you know, yeah, she wasn't maybe something saying that she wasn't deserving or she didn't get enough as she, she deserved more. She deserved more. She didn't get enough appreciation, enough award, enough, you know, um, um, yeah, she just didn't get what she deserved, but she may get one. She may get one. She may get many, but what I'm getting here today is she might get one, but there could be, you know, a lot of energy behind the awards. So even if she gets 15, right? say she gets 15 awards, I feel like there's going to be some energy behind it saying maybe she wasn't as deserving or maybe she deserved more. Something like that is something about, you know, behind the scenes communication is what I'm really picking up. So let's see. Lelani, please choose a pile for me. Am I getting back with my first love from 26 years ago? He's the reason why I want to move. Wait a minute. He, let's see. He's the reason why I want to move to him. We are both extremely excited, but also super nervous. I can understand that. Um, I feel like we might have been too young back then. What do you think? I remember you talking about this. You know, you could have been too young. And that's what I was talking about earlier, Lilani. Um, a lot of people would tell you, you know, don't take someone back from the past. Don't do that. I'm not going to ever tell you that. I'm never going to tell you that. Because I'm a firm believer that anybody that wants to change can change and they will. And so people can change. And so, and, and in those changes, you might not have been right for each other back in, you know, 26 years ago, but you might be right for each other today because you both changed. You both, you know, went out, you've lived your life. There's, you know, my brother once said to me, when you have a young love like that, right? A young love like that and it comes back to you like you know 30 years later 20 30 years later and if it works out it was always meant to be right always meant to be so this could be always meant for you i'm going to pick pile two for you this card just um stayed here on the bottom lilani i will riffle the cards for you if you want but i think this pretty much sums it up you're on the right path regarding some aspect of your life. You've got the arrow, shoot for the stars, you know, believe, have that faith, believe in the possibilities. I'm going to go ahead and pull out some more for you, but I do feel like you are on the right path. And I feel like this could be a good thing for you guys. You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to have to get to know each other, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Um, that's with any relationship. But I think that every every card look every card that i pull out is like some indication of go for it some sort of indication of yeah it's gonna be okay all right thank you spirit should leilani get back with her ex from 26 years ago should she move what's what energies for these two highest energies that shot out so fast that shot out so fast Okay, so Leilani, I don't know what broke you guys up in the past. I don't know if it was um, infidelity or something like that, but I, the first two cards that come out, they show themselves right face up, right? So, okay, thank you. Um, they show themselves, and they showed themselves really, really quickly. So I feel like this is something um, to do with possibly the past, whatever bridge broke or you know, whatever happened, because you got the broken bit bridge, 
right? And then you got a fair woman. Um, so I feel like this energy might be tied to the past. I'm not, not quite clear. It says broken bridge, unsuccessful outcome to a problem. And then dealings with a fair, uh, a woman dealings or a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. Um, you know, my, my thing about gray and white hair, it's our wisdom and it's blessings from spirit. When my, when our grays come in, <laughs> that's our gift. That's a gift from the divine. That's our wisdom. So I feel like, um, with this spirit is, uh, telling you to follow your wisdom, follow your intuition, continue to listen to yourself. Let your guides be your, you know, your guides, let them guide your path, lead your path. I do feel like this broken bridge is past energy. And I feel like this fair woman with fair, I think of Libra energy. I think of justice. I think of balance and harmony. So I feel like spirit is saying this is balanced and harmony coming in. And look, if you do decide to go, I feel like spirit is definitely supporting your path. It's supporting you to abundance. You got the money path card. It says a path with money is waiting for you to find it. That is a path of abundance. And last but not least, last but not least, beautiful girl, go for it. Okay. Go for it. Follow your heart. If your heart is leading you there, go for it. Listen to your own intuition. Listen to that first inkling, that first aha. That's the right path. Look, last but not least, romance is in the air. Go for it. I feel like this is going to bring about balance and harmony in your life all the way around as far as, you know, possibly opening up doors to your um, career, abundance, your foundation and then also in matters of the heart. So I feel like spirit is telling you, Leilani, to go for it. To go, go, go. Boy, I've got a lot of wisdom. <laughs> Jeanette. <laughs> hey, I do too. It's just underneath this die. <laughs> it's underneath the die. <laughs> oh, I went back to black recently. You guys know that. But all right following my intuition. Thank you. You're welcome, sweetheart. I love you, girl. All right, Jeanette, do you just want general highest energies? Highest energies for Jeanette spirit. Highest energies for Jeanette. Who else is here? Let's see. Highest energies for Jeanette. Jeanette. One more time. Wow, that's coming out. That's coming out um, quickly too. Oh, you want to know what the future holds? Okay, the future for Jeanette. Highest energies. Highest energies. Okay, Jeanette. So you got four cards. Two face down, two face up. Four, that's the number of the emperor. That's also the number of um, the fourth house. So home, cancer energy, nurture, the future. Hmm. Two face up, two face down. I want to look at these guys. All right, Jeanette. <laughs> All right, girl. So we talked about this a couple of weeks ago. We've been talking about March. I know your birthday's coming up in March and everything. And March not being um, possibly a good month, a, a good month for happiness for you. It could be a more of a sorrowful month, of a sorrowful time for you. And um, really, what I feel like the the cards are indicating that that hasn't shifted yet. Although you can shift it. Remember, you are the co-creator of your life. So whatever you don't like about it, you can change. Uh, but what we've got is we've got the rooster coming out. It says rooster, um, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So this could indicate, um, arguing someone, you know, uh, 
this could indicate like a gossiper, like a cackler, you know, like I get the cackling hen, someone that just comes in barking orders, just, you know, demanding and expecting from you. Uh, you could be dealing with that. Uh, it says, do not cross them. So I feel like there's a crossroads here uh, where you might, you might, you know, I mean, which I don't feel for you, it would be difficult, but you might kick someone to the curb. And this could be a younger woman. It says dealings in a relationship with a younger woman. So you have a younger person coming in. This could be the arrogant person that you're dealing with, uh, demanding, expecting things from you, cackling orders, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm even hearing promiscuous. I don't know if you're dealing with a teenager or something like that. This could be a teenager. This is the energy that I'm getting with this young girl. It could be a teenager that you're um, having some difficulties with. And with it being a teenager, you think back to when you're a teenager. Teenagers can be very manipulative, especially when they don't get what they want, right? And you've got an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So I feel like that could be an indication that be careful of this if you are dealing with a teenager or someone young, someone, you know, a little bit um, younger or more difficult. Uh, I feel like this is an indication for you to be mindful of this person because uh, in that they can be manipulative. You think back to being a teenager, sometimes when you don't get what you want, you may spread stories or tell stories. And I did get gossiping with this rooster. So they may try to attack, attack your character attack who you are as a person just be mindful of this person this person i feel a lot of spiteful energy there um this is uh, next you have a spear so they actually really could um pierce your heart really really hurt you um jeanette it's heartache over what you no longer have it's like they really pierce your heart they really really hurt you um I hate this for you. I absolutely hate this for you. Um, I, I, I feel like um, this is going to be a very difficult time for you and it's going to be really hard for you to deal with. This is not going to be one of those things that you can generally, you know, laugh off or whatever. You're actually going to really hurt having to do this, having to whatever you have to do. Um, but when you do it, it is going to bring about stability and balance and justice, fairness. You have the scales coming in. So Libra energy, um, keep your life in balance. So spirit is just saying, balance yourself, balance your energy. Know that what you're doing is for the greater good of you and them. They may not see it now, but sometimes when you have to be hard on somebody, you have to give them that tough love. They don't see it in the beginning, but later they realize and they'll come back. So this person could come back to you at a later time and thank you for it. So is what I'm getting, but um, balance, maybe meditate, ground yourself, definitely a, um, a week to be grounded, ground your energy. Three cherries, three. The number three could be significant for you um, right now, Jeanette. Uh, it could start showing up. So pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. Do what you need to do. But remember to protect your energy, okay? Protect your energy. Do what you need to do for you first. Can't help nobody until you help yourself. So a male uh, thing, kiss, yeah. It, it it does hurt though. I mean, it just sucks and I hate this for you. Um, but I, I think after March, I think it was after March that things are going to start to pick up for you. Um, please get Tiona. Yeah, absolutely. Tiona, um, Tiona, which pile did you pick dear? And did you have a question? Tona? Okay. There you are. Tiona, can you pick a pile for me? Okay. Do you have a question? I'm going to go to pile one for you. I'm feeling that pile for you, Tiona. If you have a question, drop it in there real quickly. If not, we'll just get the highest energies, highest energies for Tiona. Did I say that right, Tiona? I hope I did. Okay, go 
Okay. Thanks, Lola. Thank you, Lola, for helping me there. I appreciate that, girl. Just a general. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides and Angels, to my mother and father, ancestors and loved ones, Sister for Tiona. Highest energies, please. Highest energies for Tiona. Highest energies for Tiona. Take a breath, dear. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> oh, things are really starting to shoot out quickly, and I mean fly. <laughs> we got the fly over here. I um, as I was like getting your energy there, Tiona. What I'm getting is flexible. There's a need to remain flexible, to remain adaptable. Right now, you could be going through a lot of shifts, a lot of changes. Um, things that kind of take you off your balance um, in the future. Okay, so the first card that came out, and it came out um, upside down and over here in the past. It feels like it's past energy. But what I've got here is the fly, a period of ill health, depression. So you may be coming out of a, a period where you were depressed or where things were really difficult and hard or just a period of um, any kind of illness where you just weren't feeling well. Um, this fly always, look how he's sucking up this toxic fume stuff. So you may have had a lot of toxic energies in the past. I get that um, added, that old saying, a uh, fly on the wall. Like, so I don't know if like you were wishing you could be a fly on the wall or someone was being a fly on the wall for you and possibly going and like, um, sharing your 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 struggles or gossiping your life or something uh but i get that fly on the wall um but this is past energy so i do feel like you're coming out of that it may be someone that you had to let go of next you have the cracked cup dissatisfaction with life anytime we're dealing with any kind of you know depression or any of that we're totally dissatisfied. We're dissatisfied with life. We're dissatisfied with ourselves, with love, with everything. I feel like um, Spirit is saying that this time for you is over. This card did come out with the fly, with the illness. So I feel like this time is over and that you're going to start picking up the pieces and putting your life back together. I don't know what it's called. I bet Lola does. But you know that um, it's a, um, is it Chinese? Is it Chinese? I think it's the Chinese. They take a broken, a broken vase or a broken cup or whatever, and they mend it back together with gold. And the gold, you know, it signifies, it shows that the crack was, or, you know, the cup was broke. It was broken, but it's been put back together um, so beautifully. And it shows the, the flaws, you know, the flaws are still there, but they're beautiful. They are, um, wonderful. So I feel like you're going to be putting your life back together. And even though um, there'll, there'll be like remnants of those depressions, like times may, you know, pop up or whatever, I feel like your life is going to improve really drastically, really good. It's going to be like, you're going to see it differently is what I get. I really get you seeing things differently. Okay. We've got the gavel. So I don't know. Um, you can rewind and go back to the collective message. Fairness did come in. Justice did come in. And if you're one of those on the receiving end of legalities, um, this could be an indication that that's about to end. It says involvement with the law. So there may have even been um, through this stuff. There may have, it may have brought about some kind of um, legalities or something. And if that's the case, I feel like the gavel is going to fall very quickly and bring you some balance. You've got the bow saying you are highly thought of. So I feel like here, spirit is letting you know that no matter what you, um, you know, like when we're depressed, we can really put ourselves down, right? We can be our own worst enemies. And spirit wants you to know that you're amazing. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Flaws and all, imperfections and everything make you so uniquely beautiful. You are so amazing. And they want you to know that you're thought of, you're cared for. People out there do care for you and they are supportive. The red is um, bringing me into uh, the root chakra. So grounding your root chakra and um, grounding your foundation. This is about foundation. So I feel this is in matters possibly of the home 
that you might be trying to balance out your home life, balance out um, the people in your life, or even picking up the pieces. Maybe you recently went through a breakup or something. I'm not quite sure, but you're picking up the pieces. And then it's going to get better. If this is ringing true for you, if you have had, you know, this, this line up here, it's going to get better. And spirit wants you to know that you've got the nest coming out and emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So I feel like spirit is telling you to lean into your family, lean into your foundation, lean into those that love you because they're going to help you. Their support is going to lift you and help you pick up the pieces and help you move forward in your life and build a stronger foundation, something more balanced and more harmonious with that gavel right there, right? And you can, they're going to help you leave the, that behind too. Those toxins, they're going to help you leave those things behind and help put you back together, I feel like. Very supportive energy. I hope that helped you, Tiana. I hope that helps. I think I took it from pile one, didn't I? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, I hope that helps you, dear. Good luck. Please let me know. Tiana, uh, that name sounds familiar. Lola, is is this your daughter? Is this your daughter? That name sounds so familiar. Go the distance, girl. Keep going the distance. Keep moving forward. Keep cleaning up your own backyard, tending to your needs and yourself, and things are going to improve. They're going to get better. They're going to get a lot better. Good. I'm glad it helped you, sweetheart. Good luck. Let me know. Uh, no, no, she's not. Okay. I don't know. I, that name just sounds so familiar. I don't know why I was thinking it was your daughter. All right. I got time for one more, guys. And then I got to get going because Master is about to um, kick my butt. Okay. So I see Clarita. Are you still here? Clarita. What beautiful names. Gosh, I love this. Kylie. I see. Are you still here? Caro Triage, are you still here? Carrie? I'm going to go through and name some names. Samantha. Um, Samantha, let's see. Lydia, Lydia, are you still here? Mercy Ambrose. All right, anybody else that wants cards, let me know. I've got time for one more. And then I got to get going. This guy is going to kick my butt. He's staring a hole through my side. Oh, dude. <laughs> Lydia, okay. Pile two for Lydia. All right, Master, one more. One more, Bubby. One more. One more. One more. I'm glad you guys actually love us because otherwise people would turn away and they'd be like, oh, she's got a dog wandering around, coming up, licking her face. And <laughs> you get what you see. <laughs> you get what you see. This is me. <laughs> this is us. <laughs> oh, Lydia, thanks. His name is Master, by the way. He's appropriately named. I always say that he's appropriately named. My brother-in-law said I shouldn't have named him Tigger because the way he bounces around and stuff. <laughs> Maybe. <sighs> All right, Lydia. Hey, Karen. Welcome, girl. I'm getting ready to get off here. Um, but welcome. You can rewind the collective. There's a great collective message today. Lydia. Lydia, highest energy spirit. Highest energies for Lydia. Lydia. Oh, Lydia. Yeah. So I saw that you got that message. Um, guys, I posted a pick a card for uh, love readings for romance. So if you guys are wanting to check that out, there's a pick a card. And to see the message, you just click on the, the picture of the cards that you choose. And the message is right there. I just wanted to shout that out because Lydia had asked about how to get the message. So that's how. So Lydia, you've got one card. And what they're bringing me back to is um, that song by Brian McKnight, One. I feel like there's a new beginning, I, but I feel like it's a start over, like you're starting over. Did we talk about this last week? I feel like we talked about this last week. Um, I feel like there's a, a new beginning, something new, something, you know, because you got one card and you got the ant. 
Now, this could be an opportunity for work. This could be a new career opportunity, an advancement, uh, you um, getting a higher position, something like that, but your hard work paying off. This is what's coming through for you. Your hard work is paying off and spirit is wanting you to continue to do what you're doing. Put that work and energy into whatever it is that you're dreaming up in your life because it's going to be very successful. It's going to be very, very abundant, very successful. This could also be, be love. I don't really feel that right here, um, but I am going to note it because the green leaf, green is the heart space. Um, so this could be about love, about relationships, your relationship um, becoming more successful or leveling up. But I really feel this is about your work about your career, your achievement and success. I feel like Spirit is saying, keep going, keep working, keep doing what you're doing because it's gonna pay off, sweetie. Okay, all right. All right, one card, Karen, then I gotta go. I gotta go, because if I do it for you, then I gotta do it for everybody. <laughs> one card, okay, I'm gonna pick pile one for you. One card about a new person. What do you wanna know, sweetie? A new person. This is for Karen. One moment, Master. One moment, Bubby. Okay. You're welcome, Lydia. You're welcome. And guys, if you haven't, please go on over to my YouTube channel and give me a like over there. I'd really love your support over there. I'm trying to grow that channel, grow that presence. Um, once I reach 500 followers over there, I can open it. It's going to open up doors to so many opportunities. I'm going to be able to do like um, behind the scenes stuff where you guys can come further in and we can dive deeper and all of that. So please do go over there and give me a like, a subscribe. And don't forget the contest. If you guys want a free reading, I am hosting a monthly giveaway where you can win one lucky person is going to win a 30 minute uh, Zoom reading with me. If you don't like Zoom, that's okay. I'm, I'm new to Zoom too. Uh, I can do a reading for you and send you a link via YouTube that you can watch over and over again, but you have to enter to win. The deadline is the 31st at 11.59 p.m. Um, it's, it's pinned to the top of my page, the contest is, so go on over there and um, enter the contest so I can get your name on the prize wheel because we're gonna spend that sucker on the 1st of February and we're gonna see who wins. All right, it's really easy to enter too. All you gotta do is like me, like and follow me on social media, uh, comment, tag two friends, and then share and tag me to the share. That's it, you're entered, boom. Free reading. Who doesn't want a free tarot reading, right? catered specifically to them. <laughs> All right, Karen, is he for real? All right, okay, let's start this over. One more riffle. Thank you so much, spirit gods and angels, divine mother and father, ancestors and loved ones this is for Karen. This new person, is he real? Is he real? Wow, that jumped out fast. Is he real? new person for Karen. Is he real? Is he real? Karen, I feel like there's a lot of conversations that need to take place here. We got one card that popped out. It popped out really fast. Nothing else is coming. And what Spirit is bringing me is communication. So I feel like there's some communication that needs to take place before I even look at this card. Some heart to heart. Okay, take that. Um, some heart to heart conversations. And this is where you opening up and you being real about what you want and what you expect in a relationship. And then this person opening up and saying what they want and what they expect in a relationship, et cetera, et cetera. This is having those real hard, tough, heart to heart conversations. Um, now I, I put these down and, um, spirit was showing me the month. So, um, I went ahead and took it. I felt guided to take it. So January, this is the month of January. We are in this month right now. This um, could be a very significant month for you, but this also could be an indication of this entire year, right? Like um, it could be next January, but the month of January could be of significance to you. He could be the one. He could be real, girl. It could be real. That could be this January too. 
you got the gong, it says an exciting event. The bells are chiming, but you know, it's like, dong. <laughs> it could be, he could be the one, but uh, you're going to need to have those heart to heart conversations and express your feelings and be real, be really honest about your expectations, what you want in a relationship, what is required, what kind of, um, you know, what kind of stuff you want. Just be really open, be real, be real yourself. Right. But I do feel like, yes. This could be real. This could be. So good luck. I hope so. Let me know. Please the coming and then my saw. Um, hi, uh, Nahal. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm getting ready to go. I was just closing out, but there is a collective message. You can rewind. Maybe there's something in that for you. And if not, I'm here every Monday um, at 11 a.m. Alaska Standard Time. So check your time zone. I'm usually on here about an hour and a half. And I try to read for as many of you as I can um, because I don't just, you know, stop at yes and no. We actually go in, we give you a message. So uh, I try to read for as many of you as I can. So please come back next Monday and also uh, jo go over to my um, page and pin to the top is a contest. It's a tarot giveaway where you can get a 30 minute free reading with me via Zoom or YouTube. I can record it for you, but you have to enter to win. So guys, go over there, please, and enter to win. I would love to, dear, but I have to get going. That's what I was, that's what I was saying. I don't have time to do another message today. I'm so sorry, um, but definitely come back next week or check out those, um, the collective message. Also, I will be putting out the element error or element sign readings later this week. I'm a little behind, so I do apologize for that but they will be available hopefully by tomorrow. I'm going to work my butt off to make sure they're done. So I will keep you guys posted for sure. Things are a little bit hectic right now. We're under a storm and we are having freezing temperatures. So, so I'm kind of like, you know, just a lot of things going on. So I'll do my best to get those done, but check those out on my YouTube channel, the traveling blossom tarot. Um, it's also linked to my page here. And you guys can get a hold of me too if you want to book a personal reading. I do offer personal readings for a minimum donation of ten dollars. And there's like a thirty day turnaround period that I allot myself because you know there's lots of messages coming. So if you want to book one with me, just message me. You can do so through this um, video. And keep in mind, I'm not going to message you. I've seen a bunch of spam. I will deal with that after I get off here. I'm not going to message you. I'm not going to solicit you for money. I'm not going to ask you for readings. If you want a reading with me, I know you're going to come to me. So anybody pretending to be me or anything like that, if you get any kind of messages from anyone saying they're me, it's not me. I'm telling you, it's not me. Okay. All right. So I got to go. Yes. Thank you, Fern. I love you, girl. You have a beautiful week too. Love you, Lola. I love you, Jeanette, everybody. I love you guys. Thank you so much. Your support is amazing. I love you guys. All right, I got to go. Bye.